Today we're going to explore Penrose diagrams and how they help us to connect a black hole and white hole in the universe. What is the Penrose diagram? and how it works. Before jumping into the Penrose diagram, let's go to the history of gravity and black hole. In 1915, Albert Einstein developed field equation which is known as Einstein's field equation, which describes gravity as a curvature of spacetime caused by mass and energy. A few months later Schwarzschild find the solution to Einstein's field equation, and that solution basically describes an uncharged, non-rotating black hole. This black hole is now known as Schwarzschild black hole. Let's move on to the Penrose diagram. A Penrose diagram is a two-dimensional diagram where the horizontal axis represents space and the vertical axis represents time. Using the Penrose diagram one can see the complete spacetime of a black hole, including the event horizon and the singularity at the center, which are otherwise hidden from view. This is a Penrose diagram of an uncharged, non-rotating black hole or Schwarzschild black hole. The red line represents the black hole event horizon and curved violet line represents the black hole singularity. In 1960 British physicist Roger Penrose invented this diagram. A Penrose diagram is a way to draw a picture of what happens around a black hole. Think of it like a map that shows you what the space around a black hole looks like. Imagine you are going on a trip and you want to plan your route. You might look at a map that shows the roads and landmarks you will encounter along the way. Similarly, a Penrose diagram shows the key features of spacetime near a black hole. In the typical Penrose diagram of an uncharged, non-rotating or Schwarzschild black hole is shown. Once an object crosses the horizon it will hit the singularity of the black hole and never come back to our universe. How to construct a wormhole using a black hole, white hole and Penrose diagram. But this is not the complete Schwarzschild geometry. This diagram represents complete Schwarzschild geometry. The left side of this diagram represents a parallel universe and bottom is a white hole. A black hole is a region of space-time where the gravitational force is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. On the other hand, a white hole is a region of space-time where matter and energy or light can only escape and never enter. If we consider a black hole and a white hole together, they could create a wormhole, which is a tunnel connecting two distant regions of space-time. The black hole would act as one end of the wormhole, and the white hole would act as the other end. Also one can travel the parallel universe from our universe using Penrose diagram. If one connects our Earth and parallel Earth by a straight line, then one can go to another universe. But for this path, one has to travel faster than the speed of light. 